There is a shape hidden in mathematics for thousands of years. A shape so mysterious that the ancient Greeks believed it held the blueprint of the universe itself. Not the sphere, not the cube, but a far more secret one, the dodecahedron. And inside it lies the most beautiful number in nature, the golden ratio. Imagine a time long before telescopes, spacecraft, or physics. A time when the night sky was the greatest mystery of all. Two and a half thousand years ago, a philosopher named Pythagoras dared to believe something extraordinary. That the universe is not chaos, but harmony. That nature can be understood through numbers and patterns. And that idea would change the course of science forever. While everyone around him believed the Earth was flat, Pythagoras looked closer. During a lunar eclipse, the shadow of Earth on the moon was curved. When ships sailed into the distance, their masts disappeared last. These clues led him to a radical thought. The Earth must be a sphere. Not because he touched it, but because he thought about it. This was the beginning of a new worldview that mathematics is the language of the cosmos. To Pythagoras, straight lines and whole numbers were the foundations of reality. So he studied shapes with straight edges, exact proportions, perfect symmetry. These were polygons, and they gave rise to five special 3D forms, the only five shapes in the universe where every face, edge, and angle is equal. They became known as the platonic solids. Tetrahedron, fire. Cube, earth. Octahedron, air. Icosahedron, water. Dodecahedron, the cosmos. The first four represented the world we can touch. The last one represented everything we cannot. The dodecahedron is a three-dimensional shape made of 12 perfect pentagons. But the Pentagon contains something astonishing. The golden ratio, 1.618, a number that appears everywhere in nature. The spirals of sunflowers, the curve of a seashell, proportions of the human body, the structure of hurricanes, even the arms of galaxies. It is the most natural, beautiful, and mysteriously recurring proportion in the universe. And the dodecahedron is the only platonic solid built from pentagons, making it the only one filled with the golden ratio. To the Pythagoreans, that meant one thing. This shape might be the mathematical fingerprint of the universe. They considered it so sacred that they kept it secret, teaching it only to the innermost circle of students. Pythagoras believed everything in the universe could be expressed with whole numbers and perfect ratios. But then his students discovered something terrifying. The square root of two is irrational. It cannot be written as a fraction of whole numbers. This one discovery cracked their worldview. Instead of sharing it, they suppressed it. Because sometimes knowledge doesn't make us comfortable. It makes us afraid. Today, we know that planets and stars are spherical because gravity pulls equally in all directions. But the shape of the entire universe, space itself, is still unknown. In 2003, some astrophysicists proposed a stunning idea. The universe might actually have a dodecahedral topology. Space wrapping around itself in the geometry of a dodecahedron. Which means, the ancient intuition might have been closer to the truth than we ever imagined. To Pythagoras, the universe was harmony, geometry, and music. He saw beauty where others saw chaos. And perhaps he was right. Not because the universe is simple, but because it is endlessly rich. Inside the dodecahedron lives the golden ratio. Inside the golden ratio lives nature. And inside nature lives all of us. The universe does not reveal itself to the comfortable. It reveals itself to the curious. If this journey into mathematics, nature, and the cosmos fascinated you, make sure to subscribe, because the universe is full of secrets. And together, 
we will continue exploring them.